FEMA's statement that there was no ongoing risk was false. A level of 1.2 parts per million is not safe. And this is 75 times higher than what NIOSH would say. Uh, there's only one reasonable way to respond to testing results like this, and that's to take the issue seriously. Immediately conduct systematic testing of all these trailers to find out how widespread the problem was. And that's exactly what your field staff recommended. But they said the problem, they said the problem needs to be fixed today and that FEMA needs a proactive approach. Uh, they said there's an immediate need for testing. But you didn't do testing from FEMA. Why? We, we did do testing. We tested uh, new trailers that were locked up to see what the level was when we received the trailers and did, uh, once we ventilated those, did ventilation work to reduce the amount of formaldehyde? And the answer was yes. However, like I said in my statement, we're recognizing that in the summertime that's not going to be reasonable to do that. So we are taking this very seriously. We are doing the testing. We're starting in just a couple weeks to do some short-term testing. Uh, we want to take what the Sierra Club did, which, by the way, was a, a, a wake-up call for us when we received that report, that we have something more than just, a, just an individual isolated case. We recognize that we may have something uh, much larger than isolated cases. Well, Mr. So Paulson, we are going to expand, we're going to expand uh, what the Sierra Club did, do a much more scientific. Uh, much Mr. Paulson, more I'm going to interrupt you. You had a wake-up call. You must be a very hard sleeper because that wake-up call was over a year ago. And FEMA did no further testing. Uh, after you received this results, your attorneys put out a statement uh, through emails that implied that FEMA is going to own this issue if you do testing. What, that, the that, that, that shows a complete indifference to the welfare of the families living in these FEMA trailers because no testing was done. And your lawyers said if you do testing, you may start owning the problem. What do you make of that? The attorneys are, are hired for a particular reason, and, uh, and they are there to protect from litigation. However, the department did not stop dealing with the formaldehyde issue regardless, regardless of what the attorney said. Uh, we were going. Did you we, test any other occupied trailers? We did not test occupied trailers. So you we, tested. We you, went along with the advice that we received from from, EP, from EPA and, and your lawyers. And no, sir. And CDC. If I can finish my sentence, please. Uh, and CDC that if we uh, ventilated the trailers, that would reduce the formaldehyde issue. My concern did is. Did you test to see whether it did reduce the formaldehyde levels? It did in our testing on the empty trailers. On the empty trailers where the fan was going, where the windows yep. were open, where the air conditioning was running 24 hours a day? Mr. What about where people were living? Mr. Chair, we were not formaldehyde experts. We were taking this as it went along, as this thing developed and got larger and larger. We recognize now that we have an issue, we are dealing with it and in the best manner we can. The again, the alternative. The, 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 the EPA told you the following. The 14-day exposure maximum may be 0.03 parts per million, and the one-year level may top out at 0.008 parts per million. The levels we find after testing may well be more than 100 times higher than the base level. So if you're relying on EPA, they were telling you this was a problem as well. I'm telling you, we, re you know, in hindsight, we could have moved faster. Uh, I'm telling you now. In a direct response to one of our members who asked you about uh, your general counsel, you said the attorneys don't set policy, I set policy. So let me see where you would go uh, with setting a policy by addressing these questions. Would you agree that formaldehyde can be harmful to one's health? That's what medical experts tell me. I, I don't have personal knowledge of that, obviously. I don't have that type would, of training. Would you agree? Would you agree? Everything I, agree, I yes, read says no. that. No, everything that I read says that long time exposure to formaldehyde can cause medical problems. Would you agree? 
Yes, I said what I just said is what I agree to, that everything that I've read and everything that I've been told is a long-term. No, just answer my question. Do you agree? Yes, no? I stand on my answer I just gave you. Would you agree that formaldehyde can be harmful to one's health? Yes, no? I don't know the 100 percent answer to that, uh, Congresswoman. I'm, not, I'm being, trying to be very respectful. I'm saying that what I've been told is the answer is yes, a long-term exposure to formaldehyde could cause medical problems. Um, I can tell you, scientifically, it does. <laughs>